Game Freak lied. This lie was unforgivable, unprecedented, undeniably deliberate. Was it the dex cut? No. Was it Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl's development? No. This was far worse. This was Game Freak's biggest lie ever. It's summer 2016. The opening ceremony of the VGC World Championships has just begun. Gen 6 has been filled with very centralized formats. The previous World Championship in 2015 had almost every team look identical in top cut. Many players are frustrated with the balance of the game. Landorus, Smeargle, Mega Kangaskhan, they all run rampant and competitive. What could Game Freak do to fix this? Well, lucky for you, Jinichi Masuda has some big news before the tournament gets underway. A new Pokemon for the upcoming Gen 7 titles is revealed. It's Crabrawler, a fighting type Pokemon. He shows the crowd of competitive players a highlight reel of Crabrawler one-shotting the likes of Kangaskhan, Talonflame, Lander, Therian, and Smeargle. The crowd goes wild. The answers to their prayers have just been shown to them, but none of it was true. While the crowd in attendance may have believed that this Pokemon was an answer to the metagame staples introduced to VGC, that was far from the truth. Masuda and Game Freak were deliberately trolling the audience by showing them top VGC threats falling to the hands of Crabrawler. Many people speculated about its stats and how it could deal with all of these Pokemon so handily. Expectations were high until the game released and we finally got a good look at its stats. What on earth is this? 47 HP, 82 attack, 57 defense, 42 special attack, 47 special defense, and 63 speed? Also, it's a pure fighting type. This thing didn't have the stats nor ability to do what it was shown to do in its reveal. It isn't even a fully evolved Pokemon, and while its evolution does hit like a truck, no one was lining up to use a Trick Room offensive physical ice type. Yet. Neither Crabrawler nor Crabominable saw any high level use in Gen 7 VGC, as they were both widely considered to be bottom tier Pokemon. Crabrawler was never even given a second thought since it's not fully evolved. As it turns out, the reveal was intentionally messing with the competitive community, making them think that this little thing could be a threat in Gen 7 VGC. For what reason? We may never know. It's just a shared memory among the competitive community that lives rent free in our heads. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters for helping me make these videos, I couldn't do it without you. If you want to see your name at the end of these lore videos, you can support me for as little as $1 a month on Patreon. You can also get access to two extra videos a week by pledging $5 a month. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.